Here with Wheaton College women's basketball head coach Melissa Hodgden after a 73 to 61 victory over Emerson College earlier tonight. Coach, just give her, give us your overall thoughts on the win. Yeah, we had a couple days to prepare for Emerson. We put together a game plan and uh, went through it in practice, and I thought the team did a really good job of buying into it, executing, especially defensively. I think we played a really great 25 minutes of basketball, and then we lost our flow a little bit. Um, but, you know, the team really locked in, started with defensive rebounding, and then went in through execution half-court offense and just had a really awesome first half, and the goal always is to play, you know, a solid 40 minutes. I don't know if we did that, but it was the type of game that was really hard to do that, um, but I'm really happy with especially the first half in the, in the defensive part. Coach, can you just talk about the rebounding category a little bit more? Overall, 49-30 to 30 was the margin. Defensive rebounds 30 to 22 and offensive rebounds 19 to 8. So just talk about what the team did on the glass. We've been working on that a lot since uh, we played Coast Guard at home January 31st and we gave up 23 offensive rebounds. It became a point of emphasis for us. We keep stats on the bench. We work in it in practice. And Emerson's a very athletic, big, at every position team. And our goal was to out rebound them by plus 10 or better. So the team, again, locked into the game plan. and knew that was important for us. I think on the other side of it, we wanted to have under 15 turnovers and we had 18, but we only had seven at the half and that goes back to the game flow and things. So um, those little things we need to focus on and rebounding is like an intensity and a heart and a hustle thing. And we just have to do it all the time. And like I said, for 40 minutes, but in practice you work on it and it pays off in the game usually. And it paid off today for sure. Coach, just talk about the seniors. It was senior night tonight. Just talk about Abby Brickley, Kenzie Kuhn, Kirsten Ferrari and Laura Pierce, what they mean to this program? Yeah. Four, you know, phenomenal players, but more importantly, wonderful people. Don't like talking about it. I don't like senior day, senior night. It's, um, you know, something that we still have a lot of our season left, and I didn't even want to think about it. But it's a celebration for them. You know, the Brickleys came in from Utah. The Coons came in from Colorado. The, the uh, Ferraris from Lynn had the toughest time getting here because Boston traffic, ironically, and the Pierces came down from New Hampshire. And all four of those families have been so supportive of this program and their daughters as student athletes. And it's easy to get emotional about it, but I just try to keep the team focused on, you know, we have goals and we want to give better. And, you know, we can celebrate them, but we still have a lot of time left. So it's not goodbye yet, and I'm not ready to talk about them like they're gone uh, because they're still alive and doing great, and they all played awesome today. Talk about Abby Brickley's night tonight, at least at first, then we'll get to Rebecca Arnone, who's a junior on the squad and had a, night, a nice night after the WPI game. Brickley, 18.6 rebounds, four assists. More importantly, on the career spectrum, Abby is now second all-time in career points. Can you just talk about her a little bit? Yeah, Brick and, you know, has played a lot since she was a freshman and made an impact and just keeps getting better and better and better. And tonight, they played off one person to double Brick and at times she was triple teamed. She made some awesome passes to Becca and to Kurt and to Laura and you know found the open person when she was triple teamed. And when she had single coverage, she's versatile. She can go right, left, she can shoot the high post shot. She actually didn't shoot a couple shots I wanted her to shoot, but I think the goal for her tonight coming in wasn't really scoring, it was more defense and rebounding. Um, you know, and I know she missed a couple free throws, which she'll be mad about. But we have some phenomenal people on that thousand point banner that's behind you. Um, and Kristen Hickey, it was my second recruiting class here, shot over 50% as a 5'8 post, you know, with a good work ethic like Brick, and, uh, you know, Brick's right behind her right now. We're a team that we don't have people that just shoot and score. You know, we're a team that it's best shot for the team, and they've all bought into that. So for them to score that many points is really, uh, you know, kudos to play in a lot of games, working hard and getting better. Coach, can you just talk about Becca's night? 11 points, 11 rebounds, four of those on the offensive glass. She also had three assists. That's her second career double-double first this season. Just talk about her impact tonight. And she fouled out. So <laughs> I wasn't happy about her fouling out. That was something we talked about, and uh, she did. She plays with so much energy and fire. And as a junior, it was senior night, and you know she decorated and just wanted it to be a great night for them. And I thought she did so many intangible things that didn't even show up on a stat sheet. Uh, just bought into the game plan, you know, did her job, and uh, is good. She's so versatile, and she came here as a post player but can play a guard, and tonight she played both, and, and that makes us better when kids can do that. Coach, just talk about the next matchup for Wheaton before the new MAC tournament starts. Yeah, Babs in college. Uh, probably haven't beaten them since Brick and Kenzie were here, and LP was here before Brick and Kenzie. Uh, at Babs in college, we only play them once this year. Uh, it's a huge game. Uh, it's a very different matchup for us, so I'll start preparing for them tonight. 
and we'll practice the game plan Thursday, Friday, and go to Babson. And if we execute like we did today, I'll be I'll be really pleased with the team. Their focus has just been so good in practice, and preparation is so much important, uh, so much more important than the game, really. Like I came into this game not stressed out at all because I knew we prepared for two days. Um, so if we do the same thing Thursday, Friday, I'll be really happy. All right, Coach. Congrats on the win tonight. Thanks, Sean.